you're welcome to my channel we are going to be introducing a new course unit called cost and management accounting so as usual the first thing we look at is the course outline or call it the overview so topic one it is introduction to cost and management accounting so what is in the introduction we shall be looking at the meaning the objectives and the benefits of cost accounting and management accounting. Then we shall look at the qualitative characteristics of useful cost and management accounting information. We shall look at the differences between financial accounting and cost and management accounting. We shall look at the rules of a cost and management accountant in the managerial making process. We shall look at the limitations of cost and management accounting. We shall also look at the relationship of financial accounting and then cost and management accounting. We are going to look at the installation of the costing system and then the practical difficulties. We shall look at the basic concepts, terms, and terminologies used in cost and management accounting. For example, cost, the definition of a cost, a cost unit, responsibility accounting, cost center, revenue center, profit center, and very many others. Still under topic one, we shall look at the classification of costs. We shall look at the profit equation and the cost sheet. We shall also look at the decomposition of semi-variable costs. So that is all about topic one for cost and management accounting and the things that we shall be looking at. Then topic two is called material costing and control. That is topic two for cost and management accounting. And under this we shall have things like the classification of materials we shall have the purchasing procedure and documentation we shall have the store keeping function and documents used in stores we shall also look at the methods of pricing stock issues and valuation for internal and external use we shall look at the accounting and the control of material losses we shall look at the techniques of inventory control then we shall also look at the determination of appropriate stock levels. Then for topic three, it is called labor costing and control. That's what we shall be looking at. And under this topic, we shall be looking at things like the definition and classification of labor costs. We shall look at the accounting for labor costs. We shall also look at the remuneration of labor and in this we shall look at the factors considered when determining wages. We shall look at the remuneration schemes in practice. Then lastly under this topic we shall look at the labor turnover and in this we shall look at the causes of labor turnover. We shall look at the determination of labor turnover rate and the costs associated with labor turnover. And that is topic three, cost and management accounting. Then topic three, which is called accounting for overheads, we shall look at the stages of overhead classification. Secondly, we shall look at the collection and classification of overheads. Thirdly, we shall look at the allocation and apportionment of overheads, whereby we shall look at the primary and secondary distribution methods. Then lastly, we shall look at activity-based costing and under this we shall have very many things like the problems associated with traditional absorption costing method, the nature of activity-based costing, the advantages and disadvantages of ABC. We shall look at the product valuation and profit measurement using ABC. So that is topic four cost and management accounting then topic five it is called costing methods and under this we shall look at the specific costing methods and then the continuous costing methods 
whereby we shall have process costing with work in progress. So that is topic 5, cost and management accounting, which is costing methods. Topic 6 is costing for decision making. And under this, we shall look at marginal and absorption costing. We shall look at the CVP analysis or the cost volume profit analysis. Then we shall also look at the short run tactical decisions. Then topic 7, it's called budgeting and budgetary control. So under this, we shall look at the definition and the usefulness of budgeting and its associated problems. We shall also look at the common terminologies in budgeting and the stages in the budgeting process. We shall look at the preparation of financial budgets, whereby we shall have the revenue budgets, material budgets, wages budgets, production budgets, cash budgets, and very many others. Then lastly, in topic 7, we shall look at the budgets in the control process, whereby we shall look at fixed budgets, flexed budgets, and then budget variances. Then another topic is topic 8. We shall look at standard costing and variance analysis. And under this, we shall look at standard costing versus historical costing. Then we shall look at the types of standards. We shall look at variance analysis, then accounting treatment of variances. That is topic 8. Then topic 9 will be new approaches in cost and management accounting and under this we shall look at the strategic management accounting, we shall look at total quality management, then we shall look at just in time processes, then target costing. Yeah, so that is all about the overview of cost and management accounting, the things we are going to be looking at one by one, the 9 topics and we shall start from scratch until the end yeah thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and let's catch up in my next video